Well, good evening. It's Sunday evening. I'm Bishop Desmond and welcome to Shine a Light. Um, inside this evening for me, I'm afraid. Um, but we give God thanks that we're here and we're here to shine that light, that light of love and unity, that light of harmony, that light of making a difference. There's so many things happening right now and we've had still the violence on our street is happening, but we never give up the fight. And that's one thing we can't do. We've got to be there for each other. We've got to be there to lighten the load. But also as well, what we've got to do is we have to really take each day in our stride. You know, there are many times when people say we just complain, complain, complain. But you know something? We don't just complain, we seek solutions as well, which is just as equally as important as anything else. And that's what we need to be doing. We need to really be looking at making that all important difference at this time. COVID-19, there are new variants. It's affecting the young people more and more every day as well. There's a need for wisdom, but there's a need also for no spin. There's a need for straight talking and greater understanding to deal with these issues. And there are times when this isn't happening. And then that what it does, it causes people not to take notice. And before you know it, we've got another outbreak on our hands. We've got the mass debate surrounding what's going to be happening, the announcements which are going to be made this coming week. And where do we stand on the 19th of July? That's what's happening. And that's what's going to be happening. The health of the nation is absolutely crucial and the state of our National Health Service is crucial as well. But you know what? The state of our children and their future as well in terms of what's happening with the education system. And with the changing of the rules around COVID, if you have a COVID outbreak, daily testing, for example, going abroad, there's a lot of issues that are, it's all up in the air, isn't it? And we need that direction. And that direction comes from God ultimately, because what we must do is we must focus upon the Lord right now. At a time where many of our people in the Caribbean are facing tropical storm Elsa, which is also predicted to be a hurricane. I've had calls from Jamaica this evening and we must remember Jamaica in our prayers this evening as a tropical storm. It's battered Barbados, it's gone through Cuba and now it's heading for Jamaica as well. My understanding is that rainfall is quite immense in Jamaica at the moment and there are certain areas which have become impassable already and shop shelves have been completely emptied as well. So we're going to have to pray for comfort there. Prayer for comfort as well for the families who have lost loved ones and who have loved ones have been maimed during the course of the week. And we remember as well the people in Chelmsley Wood who are looking for the bodies of two young men as well. And we just pray for strength for them. And we pray for strength for all those who have lost loved ones during the course of the week. Direction is absolutely crucial at a time like now. And praying for comfort is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of, it's a sign of togetherness. It's a sign of love. Because people need comforting at times when you feel lonely. Because there's still that spirit of loneliness, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of poverty, which is over many people, the spirit of hope, hopelessness. And help, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, people are being furloughed more and more. Some people have no jobs to return to. I drove past a bingo hall today and I've seen all the signs taken down. I'm not too sure what that message means. Does it mean that the bingo hall is shut down? The point I'm making, I'm not, I'm not advocating people to go play bingo at all. What I'm advocating is this, times are changing. And some Bible verses just to help us at a time like this. John, John 16 reminds us, So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. And 2 Corinthians 1, Blessed be God, I'm sorry, Blessed be the God, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, 
so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which ourselves are comforted by God. So tonight we're going to pray and we're going to pray for comfort. We're going to pray for comfort and comfort and healing. Comfort during difficult times and also peace. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are in your, we are in need, Father, of your strength right now. It's a tough time for each and every one of us. A time, Father God, when change is upon each and every one of us. A time when we are looking, Father, for that all-important difference to be made, Father. Father, we can no longer depend on our own power. We can't depend, Father God, on the power of politicians either. Though, Father, we can only seek strength from you right now. And, Father, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you comfort us, Father. Calm our hearts, Father, and keep our spirits from fear and anxiety. Father, you are the only one that understands us individually. And, Father, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you walk with us through these challenges and grant us your strength, Father, that we may continue to do the right thing. Father, more than ever, we need you during this turmoil. Father, there's so much war and affliction on our streets and we do need that all important change to happen, Father. But we know by your grace, Father, this will happen. Father, there are times when we feel that life is no longer worth living. These are thoughts, Father, that cloud our vision. But Father, we pray right now that you clear the way Clear the way for those who are losing hope. Clear the way, Father, for those who can't find the strength to take that all-important next step. Father, we know that you are with us at all times. But Lord, you said in your word not to worry about anything, but instead pray and present our concerns to you with thanksgiving. Thank you, God, that we are able to do that tonight. Thank you, Lord, that we are able to cast our burdens, Father, in front of you, the person who cares, Father, the person, Father, that we can put all our fears and worries to. And when we lay these at your feet, Father God, we know by laying them at your feet that the next steps will be guided by you and you alone, Father. Father, the Apostle Paul reminds us, Father, that your grace is sufficient for us. Your power is made perfect in our weakness. Through the weakness that our bodies experience, you show us your power by lifting us up. Father, make us capable, Father, of delivery. Enable us, Father, to not just entrust in your power, but to bring us back to full health. Let us not worry, Father. Give us that peace of mind so that we can continue the journey that you have given unto each and every one of us, we pray. Lord, we also pray that we not be overpowered by illness and the impact of COVID-19 and the violence on our streets. Father, let it be an opportunity, Father, for us to extend your healing spirit upon this nation. Let your hand be upon each and every one of us, Father, and that it removes any infections which are upon us, both in society and our individual bodies, Father. Bless the doctors and nurses during this time, Father who have been there, Father, caring for those. Bless the care workers as well, we pray, Father God. But Father, let your healing be upon us now, we pray. We ask for your guidance and protection throughout this week. Bless us now as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. So until we meet again next week, to shine a light. God be with you all. God bless you. And thank you for joining us for Shining a Light this Sunday evening. God bless you.